Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uka Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, we left the Young Dolph case alone for a little bit because I felt personally it wasn't much to go off other than everybody saying the same old thing about the same old people when it came to the same old Dolph case. At this point, we know there's a lot of people involved when it came to conspiring against Dolph and his demise, and soon the truth shall be revealed in due time. Especially when you got people, you know, in pages such as Young Dolph underscore Unsolved, um, who pretty much solved the case on their own. And the details surrounding it, you know, when it comes to everything that, of course, the news and the media isn't covering, um, it's really like a Netflix special when you pay attention to everything that's been going on. However, today we have new news that's actually worthy of giving you guys an update on because one of the key suspects involved in the Dolph case has been shot and killed in Memphis. Now, honestly, judging from how things are going down, it's looking like Straight Drop is more secure in jail than the guys that's actually not in jail because everyone who has something to do with it seem to be dropping like flies. Now, could it be get back or could it be a case of keeping people quiet so the real key players behind the scenes aren't exposed? Y'all hold on to that thought because I'll touch back on that part in a minute. But anyway, let's get into a few details surrounding Josh Taylor, a.k.a. CEO TZ, and his sudden death. Now, as y'all know, back in 2022, CEO TZ, along with Devin Burns, were named as persons of interest when it came to the murder of Young Dolph on November 17th. 2021 at Makita's cookie shop in Memphis. Now it's unclear what their involvement in the case at the time was, but it was a $2,000 reward for any information regarding these two individuals. Now it was said that Burns was investigated for unrelated charges where he's accused of waving a weapon and threatening to shoot inside of a store or something to that nature. <laughs> it was just something off the wall. Now, although TZ and Burns was never charged with anything pertaining to the case, TZ was sought out for questioning by police. But after today, it looks like that will no longer be possible. Now, June 13, 2023, CEO TZ was shot and killed Tuesday in the Orange Mound neighborhood of Memphis. Reports say Memphis Police Department responded to a man down call at Spotswood Avenue near Benton Street at approximately 12.56 p.m., local time the next day now on arrival officers found a man identified as ceo tz who was dead from gunshot wounds on the scene now, at first they weren't sure however a close friend of his issued a statement on her facebook that confirmed it all when she said quote i get off work and woo i see a pick and name all on my timeline i don't even know what to say i'm shocked as f shaking my head like you my go-to person when I need you to contact my nephew or vent about my brother Double D and you love them so much. I pray for my nephew, shaking my head Josh, rest in peace, dog. Then someone else said, quote, heartbreak emojis, long live the biggest, 100 emoji, can't put RIP in front of your name cause you forever standing on top of it. Hashtag long live TZ, dove emoji. Then the last person said, quote, damn, can't believe this at all just talk to you little bruh heartbreak emoji just lost for words right now praying for my family and your little girls now let's get to the interesting parts right and i'm gonna be kind of brief um they didn't specify the motive behind his murder but of course social media ran with the fact that it may have been get back for young Dolph, even though it's not even confirmed that he had anything to do with it hypothetically speaking and then we're gonna say hypothetically now, I like to look things from another angle because I find it strange that most of the people who are suspects in this case are either in jail, dead, or you just don't hear from them anymore. Now, Black Youngster is one of them. 
he was very loud in the beginning when Dolph lost his life, but then you stopped hearing about it. Um, you stopped hearing about him. Um, allegedly he was going through label issues as well because he was also speaking on quote unquote someone not being able to do things themselves and using others to get the work done. Um, I can't really find that post, but I know we, we spoke about that um, a long time ago. But I don't know if y'all remember that, but it did occur. Now, here's my analogy on it. Yes, it could be get back, but it could also be someone, you know, behind the scenes trying to get rid of everyone that could possibly turn on them and expose who really had something to do with Young Dolph's murder. That's another possibility, too. Now, if y'all remember Jamarcus Johnson, who was charged with conspiracy to commit first degree murder, turned into an informant and pretty much told on everybody. His name was taken out the indictment. Um, he took a plea deal and all that. Keep in mind, he's the brother of Justin Johnson as well, a.k.a. Straight Drop. So I'm pretty sure whatever he has to say, the courts, the jury or whoever, they want to label it very credible because not only is that his brother, but Straight Drop was the main shooter accused in Dolph's murder. And Jamarcus Johnson was accused of trying to aid him from getting away from the scene. You know, so it's a lot of going on um, within the case. But I'm dying to know what was the motive behind TZ being shot and killed. Was it really get back or was it due to him probably knowing too much and being knocked off because someone felt that he would cooperate just like Jamarcus? You know, then we don't hear nothing about Devin Burns. We don't hear the last thing we heard about him was the case that he had that was unrelated to Young Dolph's murder. You know, what about him? What's going on with him? What's up with his case and his involvement and everything? What's up with Black Youngster? What's up with um Makita Cookie Shot Raven, the daughter? She had a lot to do with a lot. I always told y'all I knew that some foul play was going on in this whole situation when her story did not add up to a father story. You know, and that's from the beginning. Her story didn't make sense from the father story. She claimed that the father was doing one thing and the father said he was doing the next. That's the first red flag. All right. And then when you learn about this case, and like I said, if y'all check out Young Dolph underscore unsolved on Instagram, they put all the pieces to the puzzle together. They start naming every, literally everybody that has something to do with Young Dolph's case down to PRE members, down to um, his child's mother, down to everybody, man. It's, it's kind of incredible. It's crazy. Um, it's just crazy what people will do with either for either fame or just money in, in general, all right? But um, other than that, y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Do y'all think that TZ's murder or death was in reference to get back for Dolph, or do y'all think that maybe he was knocked off because maybe he knew too much? You know, he was already a person of interest. I guess he was on a run, um, and I guess the streets caught up with him before police did. All right, so y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping i'm out